Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to show you guys how to set up Foundry Virtual Tabletop, the application that I use to host my Dungeons & Dragons campaign, The Chords of Chaos. If you don't know what that is, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but for now I just kind of want to go over an overview. This is going to be a series of videos where I go over all of the features that Foundry has to offer. I really like this program. It has a lot of production value. It can really elevate your games. If you like going sort of like map heavy and you like a lot of like visual effects and that sort of thing. I personally love that stuff, so I'm eating it up. I use it on my stream game. The My chat loves it. It's, it's really cool. It's not terribly complicated, but if you're not familiar with setting something like this up or running it, it can be a little bit tricky at first. There's a little bit of a learning curve. So this video and this series of videos is meant to help you out with that learning curve and get you set on your path like very quickly. So for this video, it's very simple. I just want to show you guys how to download and install it. I was thinking that I wouldn't go over this because it feels like this is the kind of thing you don't need help with, but there is a little bit of trickiness to it. And I personally had to go look up how to download it. So, you know, on the off chance that you were big dumb dumb like me, uh, this video might be for you. If not, feel free to skip over to one of my other videos where I will go way more in depth on the features that it has to offer. Uh, so with that, let's go right into it. So here I am on the Foundry Virtual Tabletop website. You can get there at foundryvtt.com. I'll post a link in the description below. Keep in mind, this is a $50 program that only one player, probably the DM, needs to own. It doesn't have to be the DM, but it makes the most sense if it is the DM. There's also all kinds of other ways to host it. We'll go over that in another video. Uh, for now, I just want to show you guys how to install it. So first things first, you know, you go to purchase, you buy the program. I've already done that, so we don't need to go through that. Once you have purchased it, you go into your user profile and you go down here to purchased licenses. That's going to have your software license link, which uh, I have blurred out for myself, but it won't be blurred out when you get it. And then from there, you just download it right there. And I got that Google Fiber, baby. So we're downloading that thing real quick. Once you got that, you just open it. You agree, sell your soul, give up your firstborn, all that kind of stuff. We'll install it there. And then you run it. Blah, blah, blah. Then you put in your license key, which again, you agree to the terms and boom, here we are. So let's just go over a few quick things uh, to make sure that you are updated to the latest software. Go to update software. It'll tell you what version you're using. Uh, at the time of this video, 7.9 is the most recent stable version of the game. If you are a module maker, you can get access to very unstable future builds. Uh, for most people, you're not going to want to bother with this. If for some reason you suspect that you are not up to date, you can just click check for update and good to go. For configuration, it is a good idea for you to set an administrator password so that if you leave the server up, nobody can just access it and start mucking about in your stuff. You do have to learn how to forward your ports. That's a whole nother thing. And frankly, I might not even do a video about that one. Your best bet if you are having trouble forwarding your ports is jump on to Foundry's Discord server. They've got a great community there. There's all kinds of links that they can give you to help you out. Everybody's modem or router is going to be different, so how you do that is very specific to your hardware, essentially. But you gotta you gotta figure that one out. As far as modules go, uh, Foundry has a massive module building community. You can really make some incredible stuff in your campaigns with a lot of modules. I personally have almost a hundred modules installed on my on my game. You can go a little crazy with that. 
I will go over modules in a future video. One thing to keep in mind is you would really serve yourself best by going pure vanilla. Just use Foundry out of the box, learn how to use it at its most basic level. And then as you need more modules, go looking for them. If you find that Foundry isn't serving a need in some way, you could go right back to the website, just go to systems and modules, add on modules. Right now they have 786 modules and that's just the ones listed here. There's all kinds elsewhere that aren't even like officially hosted on, on the site. Uh, they have a lot of really, really cool ones. If you wanna do something like have crazy light sources that the community made or custom sound effects, some people are throwing maps up here blood effects uh there's a lot of great people on patreon doing stuff that's supporting this this project too you can have things like fireballs shooting out uh of your of your character streaking out hitting your uh, opponent it's it's pretty cool uh we'll save all that for a future video though uh but this is the tab to install them you literally just click install uh and you can go searching for them you can search them by name etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, game systems, um, we're going to focus on Dungeons and Dragons for my content. Similar to modules, you can install a system here. We're going to go ahead and, and install the Indy 5e. This is the one we're looking for. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and install that. If it ever becomes out of date, you just click update all on it. And that's basically all we got to do with that. You can, you know, you can check to make sure it's uh it's the current we just installed it so of course it's the most current now we're in game worlds for this we want to create a world we had to install the game system first as you're about to see because we have to pick a game system that this thing's going to be hosted on we're going to call this test world now your worlds are basically the thing that you are building your game in so i've never heard it called a world before usually i i hear it called your campaign file or uh your server although that's probably not a, a very accurate name for it uh the the point is is that all of your character tokens all of your maps all everything that you're building your game around is going to be hosted on your world you hit create world and now we can edit it if we want to, we can delete it if we want to, and we can launch it if we want to. At the start, uh, it's just the game master. There's no access key for it. And uh, we don't really need to worry about anything else. Hit join game session and boom, now we are in Foundry. In my next video, I will go over how to actually set up your world so that you can get your first game started. Now, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please drop me a like, subscribe to the channel. I plan to do a lot more videos covering all aspects of Foundry, including my favorite mods. I also stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Twitch. Come drop me a follow over there. Uh, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I host my big Stone Age campaign, The Chords of Chaos. Come drop by for that. That's a really cool campaign. It's a multi-group, multi-DM shared world campaign. We're recruiting all the time. You can get the Discord link down below. You can get all my links down below. But come join the Discord server if you're interested in joining that. We are recruiting. Uh, and then future videos for uh, YouTube. Not only do I plan to cover Foundry and possibly other virtual tabletops, but I also have a lot of advice that I can give just about DMing and, and running campaigns and even being a player more generally. Uh, I'm a very story-focused DM, so that'll probably be my angle for things rather than i don't do a lot of like super nitty gritty like rule stuff but who knows we'll see uh anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video until next time